there's a big concern that goes around today, and many people talk about it. Namely, Facebook brings it up, but it's brought up more in general, which is privacy on the internet, and our rights to privacy. And I want to preface all that I'm about to say with the statement that I believe in our right to privacy. I believe in our right to have the core bits of information about ourselves that really matter. We have a right to have those protected and not given away to just anyone. Now that that's been said, we cannot rely on the government or the law to protect our privacy on the internet. They can and should regulate, at least on a broad sense. Make it punishable to blatantly violate common sense ideas about privacy, where if you have to do something underhanded to steal someone's data, it's a crime. Use a common sense guideline like that. However, the law is an obtuse instrument that is not capable of fine-tuned operation. And even more importantly, it is not an instrument that can protect you from your own ignorance. And I do not mean ignorance in a denigrating way. I just mean that a lot of people are ignorant of the methods they can use to protect their own privacy on the internet. The law cannot be your protector in individual instances. And that places the onus of it on you, the user, the owner of the data you wish to protect. You must be the one to take the steps necessary to safeguard your own privacy when you're on the internet. Whether or not you believe in a right to privacy, whether or not you believe that there should be a method of keeping all of your data secret or not, the fact of the matter is that people want your data on the internet, and unless you are okay giving it away, you need to take steps to prevent this. You can use things like FlashBlock or NoScript, Ghostery is another good one. And even Adblock Plus. All of these things can be attached to Firefox, and I'm sure Chrome has its equivalents and whatnot. All of these tools can be used to protect yourself as you surf the internet. Be mindful of cookies. If you don't know what they are in relation to the internet, do some research. Find out. Look up the, the uh, programs I have mentioned and what they fight against. See what is going on with people trying to get your privacy. If you have no idea about any of this and how people are taking your data just as you surf the web, then find out. Stop being ignorant and start being informed. Information is a weapon. And if you want to protect yourself and your data, which you should, then you need to be informed. The big thing is, if someone gets your data... It could be harmless. It could just be sold to another company, and you could just get some mail you don't want, or emails you don't want. Everyone has that to an extent with spam. The problem is people can get more devious than that. And if you're not aware of it, please get informed. People can steal your credit card information if you're not careful. Impersonate your identity. Do lots of other things. And if you have sensitive accounts on the internet, you don't want someone else logging into your bank account as you. This is all a part of the point I am making, that your privacy is yours to protect. And though the government can take steps to protect you with legislation and the police, it cannot do everything. You must stand up for yourself and be your own advocate in this case. Take up the fight for yourself by first getting informed, and then deciding on what you feel like you need to protect. Download what you need and take steps to surf the internet more securely. Just something to think about.